What the fuck is happening? No, seriously, what the fuck is happening? Within the last two years, by this point, we had great fucking movies. The Witch, Cure for Wellness, Get Out. What is going on this year? This year we have Keep Watching. Is it too early to pick a worse film in 2018? It's too early, right? Keep Watching is a piece of cinematic torture directed by Sean Carter. It stars Bella Thorne, Chandler Riggs, uh, Jared Abramson, Yoan Griffith, and it tells us a generic fucking story of The Strangers meets Unfriended. Sorry, it tells the generic story of a fucking home invasion that the killers are broadcasting to the world through a series of pinhole cameras. So The Strangers meets Unfriended. These killers put a, put, a, put a bunch of tiny pinhole cameras throughout the house in small household objects and film as they commit their murder sprees. So in other words, the filmmakers wanted to be innovative and did a bad job at it. Where the fuck do we even start with this one? First of all, the title, Keep Watching, is the biggest fucking irony because all I wanted to do was stop watching. I'm sure plenty of people have made that joke. It's a really easy joke to make, but it's honest to God true. I, all I wanted to do was watch something else. It was fucking awful. It's clear that none of the actors gave a shit. The writers clearly didn't give a shit. The directing is virtually non-existent past some gimmicky camera placements. The editing is non-existent. The story is pretty much the most generic thing to ever be written. Character development? None. Decent writing? None. Oh, and it's not fucking scary. The opening scene of the film, the first minute of the film, has a really loud, unearned jump scare, which pretty much sets the tone for everything that's to come in the rest of the film. I imagine the pitch for this movie went something like this. I have an idea for a movie. Uh-huh. Well, I want it to be a home invasion film. Uh-huh. Go on and I want it to be shot through a series of small pinhole cameras that are placed around household objects. Ah, that, that sounds interesting. Um, tell us, what, you, what, what could you do with uh, something like that? Well, I could put a camera in the microwave keypad, and I could put a camera in the digital clock interface, and I could put a camera on an hourglass that when the killers turn, to be scary, the camera turns upside down, and it'll look really artsy. Brilliant. Here's five million dollars. You heard me, by the way. Five million dollars. For a film that I could easily replicate for two hundred dollars. Never mind the fact that this movie never even broke a hundred thousand at the box office because they made the brilliant marketing decision of releasing it for one night only in theaters. The only reason the budget could possibly be that high is to pay the actors who they got to star in the film who... There are far too many big names in this film. Bella Thorne, Chandler Riggs, Yoan Griffith, Lee Winnell. Buddy, what are you doing? You seriously, what are you doing? You've been in the Bye Bye Man, now you're in this. Please, you're better. Be better. The characters in this movie are a total fucking joke because not only do they never grow or develop throughout the film, but they never really interact throughout the film. Lee Winnell has one moment with his niece where he is basically saying, hey, tell me about your life, but then never actually says anything or does anything to indicate that he gives a shit aside from give her a fucking joint. Or repeatedly interacting with each other in this way. Hey. Yeah? Never mind. It's, don't worry about it. At one point, Bella Thorne goes to call her boyfriend and lets it ring twice and then hangs up and then texts him a million where are yous. These aren't people. They're cardboard stereotypes of people. This movie shouldn't be so long and torturous. It's less than 90 minutes. But God help you, does it feel like a fucking six hour waterboarding session? Honestly though, the biggest issue with this movie is that the framing makes no goddamn sense. Okay, fine, I can accept that this group of killers is broadcasting their handiwork. I can accept that this film is supposed to be a live broadcast of said handiwork. Except, for me to accept that, I'm also supposed to accept that the killers in their fucking editing suite van that they have are adding a background ambience track and adding loud jump scare sounds in order to make this more entertaining for their viewers? What about the scene where we see the fucking screen of Chandler Riggs's phone being broadcast, even though that makes no goddamn sense because there's no camera on his phone, there's no means of them broadcasting what is on his phone and what he is sending. The other problem with your gimmick being a bunch of stupid fucking cameras placed around the house so you can see every square inch of the house, is that you can see every square fucking inch of the house. Which means when you have a scene of Bella Thorne getting jump scared by her blinds falling down, and she pulls them back up only for there to be a ripped up butterfly taped to the other side of her window, 
It makes no fucking sense because the entire sequence has been two shots. One outside the window, one inside the window. And at no point do you ever see anybody who's out there to put a fucking butterfly up there. So basically what this movie is telling me is that these killers are supernatural and materialized a butterfly, a dead butterfly, on the outside of Bellathorn's window for the sake of a cheap scare. I honestly cannot give, like believe how little of a fuck was given from everyone in this film. I'm kind of amazed that the filmmakers even cared enough to have the, the camera that's inside the microwave keypad glitch slightly when they turn the microwave on because that actually would happen. Plus one point for that, minus three points for the fucking scene that follows where you see Chandler Riggs' phone screen broadcast to the audience. I'm tired. I'm so tired. This is the kind of movie that should have come out on the first weekend of January. And... We got it the first week of February, and there is no excuse for this film whatsoever. It was in production hell for several years, and I can see why. This is one of the worst things I've ever watched. Don't watch it. Don't subject yourself to it. It, it, it like, don't even watch it like to be like, oh, maybe it'll be funny. It's not. It's not worth it. It's fucking boring and stupid and generic and cliche, and keep watching is a fucking garbage fire. There are plenty of other movies you could check out that are a much better use of your time. I feel like I need to bleach my goddamn brain. I'm gonna go see Lady Bird. At least that's a good movie. Like, comment, subscribe. Because it's fun.